tutorial on strobing and strobing is basically highlighting just to bring forward your features and highlight the features you want to highlight it's basically just really really glowy looks with no contouring and this is what i've created today so the look i tried to create was inspired by kim kardashian and it's just a look which i found on her instagram page she just looks so healthy and glowy also the eyes i tried to recreate a look which i had in my control kit review video and someone requested that look so i just thought i would recreate that look for you guys hope you enjoyed this video and keep watching so I'm just going to start by brushing my eyebrows. To fill in my brows, I'm just going to be using the Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade. And this shade is in dark brown. So I just take a bit of that. I'm just going to run that through my brows and create the shape that I would like. I just try to make hair strokes just so the brows can look natural. Once we're done filling in the brows, I'm just gonna conceal around the brows and clean up any mistakes I might have made. And to do that, I'm using Studio Finish Concealer by MAC, and this is an NC45 and I find that this concealer is really good to clean up the brows because the consistency of it is kind of hard it's not as it doesn't move as much as other concealers and this shade is about two to three shades lighter than my skin tone this brow next I'm gonna take this brow gel by elf and it's just a really really dark brown shade this is what I'm gonna use to just keep the brow hairs in place so I'm just lightly brushing the product through my brows so that's it for my brows next I'm gonna move on to the eye I'm gonna do a really really simple look because the focus of this tutorial is the skin and the glowiness and in the picture of Kim which I am looking at she doesn't seem to have too much going on in the eyes I'm just gonna recreate the look I had in my contour kit review video firstly I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes and I'm just using the e.l.f. mineral eyeshadow primer and this primer is actually really good I just blend that into my eyelids I'm gonna take this fluffy brush and it's by BH Cosmetics so I'm taking the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and I'm using this shade right here and it's just a really natural brown shade and I'm just gonna put that over my crease blend it out and this shade is really close to my skin tone so 
I like using it as a transition color. My semi sweet chocolate bar palette. I'm gonna take peanut butter, and this is actually my favorite color from this palette. I'm just gonna blend that into my crease as well, and I'm using the same brush. So I'm gonna take a dense brush like this. I'm gonna use this shade from my Kat Von D shade on light eye palette and I'm gonna put this in my outer V I'm also gonna take a bit of this shade right here putting that right on top of Lucius right here just deepen that crease so now I'm gonna apply this shade called Latus. I'm using a dense flat shader brush and I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid. For my brow bone color I'm taking Ludwin and this is just an off-white shade. Just taking that blending brush again and I'm just gonna with nothing on the brush I'm just gonna blend. I'm taking an angled brush and I'm just going to use the black shade and it's called Shax. I'm taking a bit of that and I'm just going to run it through my lash line just to give me more definition because I'm not wearing the liner for this look. I'm use this to kind of line my eyes. So I'm going to move on to the face and the first thing I do is I spray my face with some fix pus. I'm just gonna let that dry for a minute. For foundation I just mixed my NARS Sheer Glow with my Becca liquid highlighter. Now I'm gonna apply my under eye concealer and I'm using my beauty blender. I'm gonna use my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC45, the same concealer I used for my brows. I'm just gonna dip my beauty blender into the concealer and I'm applying it right underneath my eyes. So after I apply the Studio Finish Concealer, I take my Kevin Aucoin Concealer, which I applied on the back of my hand, and I'm just gonna take a bit of that and apply it right underneath my eyes and right over the use it to clean up my eyeshadow as well applying some of the concealer onto the bridge of my nose and just a little to my forehead I'm also gonna go in with that concealer to my chin, sides of my mouth, and my cupid's bowl. I'm gonna take whatever's left over on the back of my hand and I'm applying that beneath my cheekbone just a bit. And since we're not doing any contour, this would make my cheekbone stand out just a bit more. Once I'm done blending and I'm satisfied with how everything looks, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just going to apply that to all the areas which I highlighted. So everywhere I put the concealer, so underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, Underneath my waterline, I'm taking this shade right here, the same shade I used in my crease. Just gonna apply that lightly. Now we're gonna move on to the form part, which is highlighting. Firstly, I'm gonna take my Becca Illuminator, and I'm also using my Beauty Blender to apply this. Also using my Becca pressed highlight in opal an angled brush apply that to the tops of my cheekbones right over the liquid highlight 
right above my brow and this will just give a really nice effect so I'm taking some of that highlight just to the tip of my nose as well as the bridge this just defines my nose I'm just I still have it on my forehead as well. Also applying some on the on my jaw. I'm taking a more precise brush and I'm just taking some of the highlight and applying it to my cupid bow. <laughs> taking this brush by BH Cosmetics and I'm taking this blush by MAC and it's called Format I'm just taking proper tone blush just this shade right here I'm gonna apply a bit of that So I'm gonna line my lips with this lip liner by NYX and it's called Hot Cocoa. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.